guys welcome back I'm gonna be launching my space station this is a version 5 of my space station I've been playing around with the same design I did launch the first one which I lacked uh, communication systems and of course all scientific tools but uh, this one does have pretty much all the scientific tools as you do see here on the four sides it's really small unmanned pod as uh, this isn't going to be the main uh, main thing really running this I'm going to be attaching other ones as well but anyways uh, let's get launched it's uh, quite a long process to get this into space but it does work and we do have we are in daytime though unfortunately we're halfway through so not really the most ideal let's see if we can hold on time warp a bit I'd prefer to start off in the beginning of daytime ah there we go okay SAS full thrust like this we head directly into the sun pretty much and our solar panels will gain energy to activate this guy Actually, it's pretty funny to notice that the last third of the fuel has uh, the high 
highest points, the distance I took 7,000 meters, 7,500 meters, two thirds of the fuel took, and I'll probably make 13,000 meters in uh, a third of the fuel of the top atmosphere. So you can really tell the difference by how much thinner it is and by how little fuel it needs. altitude so that's fine That was a, it veered off course a bit, so maybe it would have been better to uh, decrease the speed a little bit more so we wouldn't do that stuff. We are going to go on course correction now. I switched off the SAS, we're going to go a little bit more of a steeper 90 degree turn now. Switch on the electrical systems once we get it on. So. 
these bats with this. when we're closer. Let's speed it up a bit. Four. Let's go up a bit. We'll start burn here. 158. Supposedly we should lose, uh, use less fuel as well when you're closer to the center. So, Even though I don't really care, I'm gonna uh, throw it out. I could keep it again and, and refuel it if you, if you are gonna use this for interplanetary travel actually, so... Actually, why not? I could keep it. Okay, we're done. RCS on, let's move into position. You can use the station, of course, for interplanetary travel. You can get your ship that you want to get to and uh, dock it on the sides. Here are the main docks. I'll explain this later once I get properly into orbit. I still got quite a bit of fuel, so that's good. I'm starting from there. There a bit. Okay. That's a pretty bigger one than I expected. We could adjust that as well. How much is this at? 140. I want to increase it to like at least 170. That's a good 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 height to have and then decrease this actually I can keep this I just want to increase this side I don't like it it's pretty low and then I'll just deploy my communication systems oh, well practically we are already in orbit but uh, you can have two you can keep one in Kerbal just to refuel and then what you could do is you could uh, launch the same one out again and keep that space station just empty on a different planet, let's say closer to, uh, I don't know, uh, a different system. So hold on, I'll explain to you something. Let's just fix this first. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's kill off, hold on. Kill off this and that. Get our orbits going. Now the last burn. Get the 295 down to 
at least 200 though. 295 is a little bit too high. I don't want to spend a lot of fuel with my other aircrafts to dock. See, the thing is, the higher you have your station, the more fuel you got to burn to get to this height. So, uh, I don't want to be too close to the Earth as well. I want to have a little bit of distance. Close to the Earth, I could keep maybe some satellites and stuff if I want to launch. And debris, of course, including this one's going to be projected out, so... Nope. I went the other way. Genius of me. I went the opposite way it required. Hold on. Of course, uh, this one compared to my first version. If you guys were watching, I did post a pic on my blog in terms of the first version of this space station that came out. It didn't have any lights. It didn't have anything, pretty much. Two hundred thousand good with me. Hundred and eighty, perfect. Well, this is it. I am officially in orbit. So, uh, we do have the sun here, which is pretty cool. Uh, this one has, of course, communication relays. Each uh, corner has a satellite. So, in case, uh, like this, at, I'm sure at least one of the corners will be facing the thingy. And I have antennas, of course. Let it rotate around. Let's just speed, up, uh, speed it up a bit so you guys can see the... When it rotates around, I'll show you that there's antennas on the other side as well. Now, see here, docking ports. Here, I got four docking ports. I presume uh, you could use this for, uh, or what I'm going to be using this. Uh, the ships that I'm going to be uh, launching into interplanetary will be here, and here I'll be docking maybe additional fuel tanks with an additional, I don't know, xenon and battery packs and stuff for this station, pretty much. You know, so I can store more fuel as well. But uh, if I want to, I can now release these for, or I can keep it. I can keep these engines and I can use them uh, for an interplanetary uh, system. All I gotta do is now send up uh, a couple of ships. I do have a refuel station already, the more cost refuel station, resupply ship, and fill this up. So I do have four ports here. These are permanent ports pretty much. If I want to, I can uh, disembark these and make different ports here, including maybe some engines. You know, maybe uh, send up a system with like its own engines and put it here as well on four of them and the side ports are used pretty much for uh, <coughs> other ships that are uh, just you know transit ships going by so and uh, let's take a look unfortunately it's dark I need it to spin around so let's speed that up again let it spin around I don't want to use any more RCS than I have to so uh, here I have the satellite dishes and now it's dark you can't see shit again so that's pretty sucks let's just spin it around more and uh, I do have two antenna on the front and of course I'm very proud of the lighting system I've integrated I'll show you that now actually including the ladder system so the ladder system inside is pretty much made so you can reach every place on the ship on the ship outside the ship so let's just get into the dark first so you can see how it is in the dark there it is hold on you can see the antennas here two of them they're too small hold on let's just speed that up a bit um let's just zoom in there you got my antenna i got one here one here I have the scientific instruments right in dead center. I have them there. Hold on, if we can zoom in. I could maybe show you my scientific hidden instruments right at the core. There they are. There they are. On all four corners I have one, so that should come pretty handy. Hold on. I just need to get the correct angle for this. There's one. Hold on. Damn spaceship. So 
So there I have the scientific instruments. I have one here, which is the negative gravity detector on all four corners of my actual unmanned pod. There's one of the scientific instruments. Of course, I have also the antennae as well. So let us uh, deploy my communication systems, including all my antennas. As you see, they are coming out. So I do have two antennas per head and four satellites, including antennas down there, including four instruments. And now the coolest part, hold on, are we facing the sun at least? Is yeah, we are. The coolest part is the ladder system. Take a look at this. Here's the ladder system. Watch this. Check out the ladder system. Don't tell me that's not cool. I made it in a way that... Uh, let's rotate this around, that you can pretty much get anywhere. So of course the same applies from top. You have ladders across, if you need to, you can walk across all four sides. I'm gonna rotate it around so I give you a better view. Takes a little bit of time, of course, to be able to show you this. There we go. Let's pause that. Now you see I got ladders from there, and of course my beautiful lights. Boom. You see I got ladders from there. It means you can technically walk up. This didn't drop. This should have dropped as well. I probably forgot it added in the target. From all sides, it should drop. So, down it goes. And uh, like this, you can, of course, walk around as well. I made a passage from around. You can walk all the way up. You can, uh, you don't even have to jump up. You can walk then to the left and up. I presume it should work. And then once you get up on the thing, you are then here and you can walk across if you need to as well to other sections. So that should be pretty cool. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is my space station. I think it's uh, pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And the uh, next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm not going to be detaching this. I'm going to keep these. I might actually send this to another system. I might uh, send this one to be my unmanned resupply ship and another system, let's say I could send it to uh, the furthest planet out there, which is Joel, and keep it in Joel, and I can send another one of these. I could have one of these in every single system, like uh, send them up to Kerbal, refuel them in Kerbal, and then just send them out to the other system, completely filled with fuel, so that's pretty cool. Of course, but before I send them out, with the fuel and stuff you just see the power's not even going down with the lights because the amount of generators i have i don't think it's uh, aiming towards the sun with the generators alone pretty much fill up the light uh, my next version i think i'll put four more projectors on the roof here so i can light up this place though maybe just uh, floodlights or so you know i don't know i'll see but i think maybe four projectors that just scream down here you have like nice ladders all across the place so that's pretty cool yeah. That's very cool. Let's light it up. I'm just straightening it up. It's leveling it off with the actual thing. Say a song. Let it calm down a bit. Switch off the SAS. 
and that's it we're pretty much stable I can keep the lights on all the time of course because of my battery packs and uh, since the ion engines are off and the generators I have they pretty much generate all the electricity I need to keep the lights on all the time so that's pretty cool and uh, I don't know I think that's it I'm gonna go now and uh, send up my resupply ship I can refuel it I'll be docking on one of the side ports so that being this one or any other one and uh, I'm not sure I, th I think I'll I will send this one off to another solar system you know I'll maybe start off with something closer you know uh, maybe send it off to Eve you know I can send one to each solar system send it up into Kerbal refuel it which will require I think six or uh, it depends on how many tanks I got five tanks so I'll require five uh, supply launches to refuel all the tanks with fuel and then resend them to that actual uh, send them to that solar system like that then what I could do is when I launch off from Kerbal I can refuel in Kerbal from this from let's say another one of these that I have here and then when I send them off to Joel I'll already have another station pretty much filled up even though it'll consume some fuel to get there you know and then I can refuel from that station and send it back you know anyways it's 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 pretty interesting to see how it's gonna work though I still need to design a sort of system or a station that can take up more than two tanks of these I can sort of just take up one you know what I mean or maybe I could use w another station just to uh, to refuel the other one but I, I, I can't see being able to dock two big stations together so I, I don't see that happening that's uh, that's gonna be a little bit uh, difficult if not impossible to dock such large objects it's substantially easier if one of them is small well this is it for this one I, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, my space station I will hopefully try to make it available once I complete everything in the description below uh, don't forget to leave your comments and your ideas below so take care happy gaming bye